Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem largest number. We are given a list of non-negative integers, nums, and we want to arrange them such that they form the largest number and then we want to return that number. The number might be really big, so we're actually going to return it as a string instead of as an integer. So let's take a look at an example. So how would we want to rearrange these two integers such that they form the largest uh, result? Well, we have either 102 or we have 210. Obviously 210 is larger, so that's the one we're going to return. A more interesting example would be the second one. There's a ton of different ways to rearrange this. How are we going to figure out the best way? Well, you can see that the result starts with a 9. That makes sense because out of all of these, uh, 9 is the largest digit, right? 34 is larger, but the digit is what we care about because in total, uh, the total number of digits is not going to change, right? The output is always going to be this uh, many digits pretty much. And at this point, you can probably uh, intuitively realize that greedy is going to be the solution because we want to have the largest digits in the most significant place. So in this case, you, we see we have about seven digits, right? Of course, uh, at the most significant digit, we want the largest digit that exists, right? A nine if possible. And then the second largest would be a five. Now, the tricky part would be between these uh, three, right? Obviously, a uh, three is going to be here regardless of which one of these three values that we choose. But which one is going to lead to the largest uh, integer? Is it going to be just putting a three here or a 30 here or a 34? In this case, it's going to be 34 because that's what is going to maximize the digit that goes here because if we choose either of the other two then we're going to end up with a three in this spot we'll end up with a three over here regardless but uh, obviously 34 is going to be larger than 33 so 34 is going to be the digit that we choose uh, to put here now also between three and 30, these are our two integers left. Which one are we going to put first? Well, if we put a 30 here, we end up with a zero uh, in this spot. But if we put the three first and then put a 30, we end up with a three in this spot. So this is bigger than the alternative, which would have been 303. So the idea to be greedy is not, you know, the difficult part of this problem, but to figure out how to actually implement this is a little bit tricky. You might kind of get the intuition between how we just did it right now. The easiest way would be to, you know, just take two numbers like these, have some kind of way to compare them, and then uh, based on that comparison, figure out which one of them needs to go first and which one of them needs to go second, right? And if we can do that, compare all of these and then sort them based on, you know, the comparison that we figure out to make sure that the largest digits go first and then uh, the smaller digits go after to result in the largest uh, number then we can pretty much solve this problem. So if we do uh, a sorting approach like that, it will be relatively efficient n log n uh, if we choose an efficient sorting algorithm. But now the only question is, how do we uh, make that comparison? How do we actually compare two values to figure out which one to go first? Well, your first idea might be to, you know, just uh, read the two integers a digit by digit and then figure out which uh, digit first has a difference the first different digit and then and whichever one has a larger digit is going to be the one that goes first and maybe you could come up with an algorithm like that it would probably be a bit of a pain to code it up though but one thing you might not have thought of and to be honest i didn't really think of it myself either is uh, take a look at the way we were even comparing these two we were basically checking which one would result in the larger integer uh, depending on how we arrange these two right similar the same thing that we did with these two digits right we either could do 303 or we could do 330 which one resulted in the larger integer obviously this one right so since this is the larger integer, that must mean 3 is going to go first. It's going to go before 30. So that's basically the comparison that we're going to use to compare any two digits. Uh, suppose, you know, we were doing a 9 and 34. We have 9 and 34. Which one is going to result in a larger integer if it's put first? We have 934 or we have 34 
9. Obviously, this is larger than this one, so that must mean 9 is going to go first. It works out. Basically, it's like a sub-problem of the entire problem. We're given a bunch of integers, but we can run the sub-problem on two given integers to figure out which one should go first, and that will allow us to solve the larger problem by using sorting based on this comparison. So that's the idea. It might not be super easy to come up with, but thankfully, it's relatively easy to code up. So let's do that now. Like I said, suppose we're given two integers like 9 and 34. Uh, if we add them in both ways, uh, you know, 934 and 349, then we can compare to figure out which one of them is going to be bigger. But how are we actually going to even build these? Because look at our input. We're given an, a, a list of integers. So what we should do is convert these to strings and then append the strings together and then uh, we can still do the comparison because strings can be compared just like integers and then we'll know which one is larger so that's the first thing we're going to do uh, just go through the entire input so i'm going to enumerate the input because then we can get the index as well as the number at each index so we're going to convert each value in the list into a string so Pretty straightforward how to do that and then we want to go ahead and then sort our input nums uh, based on some comparator and you can do that by specifying a key for the sorted function and the function you want to pass in is actually a uh, Python function uh, compared to key uh, it took me a while to actually figure this out by googling but uh, this is probably something you wouldn't remember in your interview and your interviewer probably would either tell you something like this or they would just let you assume some syntax or some you know generic function uh, but what we pass into this is going to be the custom comparator function that we create so compare is what i'm going to call it and we're going to declare it right above here it's going to be given two integers let's just call them num1 and num2 i mean we're probably going to pass them in as strings because that's what nums has been converted up to over here but then this is going to basically determine which one of these is larger and which one is smaller and remember the way we're going to implement this is pretty straightforward since n1 and n2 are strings we're going to try adding them in uh, both ways right we're going to try adding it like this and we're going to try adding it with the second one going first depending on which one of these is larger we're going to return some value and the way this happens to work is if we want n1 to go first which is what we want in this case right if n1 plus n2 is larger than the opposite that means we want n1 to go first because it has a larger uh, significant digit in that case we would want to return negative one from here in the opposite case where we want n2 to go first we return positive one if we wanted if there was a tie between these two then we could return zero now in the case that there is a tie we're happening to just return positive one which works because if, if both of these are the same it doesn't really matter which one we put first right so that works out for us in this case uh, and once we call sorted i do want to assign the result to nums so now nums is the sorted version of that and so nums is actually a list of strings right now we have sorted it we've done everything uh, but we want to return a single string you can do that pretty easily in python uh, by taking uh, an empty string this is basically our delimiter and we're going to join all of the substrings that are in nums using this delimiter. So basically it's gonna add an empty string between all of these, uh, which is fine because we just wanna join all of them together. Or you could do this with a loop, right? Just basically adding each string uh, together. But there's one input where this actually won't work for us. It's kind of a stupid input in my opinion, but it's definitely valid. Suppose the input we were given had multiple zeros, right? And only multiple zeros. If it had a one uh, like this, then our result would obviously be a thousand. But if it didn't even have any ones or any other digits other than zero, then our result is going to be zero, zero, zero. And of course it's going to be a string uh, th this is not really valid right what we should return is just a single zero now we could write a check to kind of check for this case but an easier way and a more elegant way would be to take this string convert it into an integer 
uh, which will basically get rid of the leading zero for us. But don't forget that we actually want to return a string. So then after converting it to an integer, we can go ahead and convert it back into a string. So that's pretty much the entire code. Of course, we could have written our own sorting function, but I've uh, solved a lot of problems where we've written our own sorting, you know, such as merge sort and quick sort and stuff like that. So if you want to learn about that, you can check out some of my other videos. But now let's run the code to make sure that it works. And as you can see on the left, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. So I really hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It really supports the channel a lot. Consider checking out my Patreon where you can further support the channel and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.